Chef, thank you so much for having me at Thanks. Fiola, but back in the kitchen. Yeah. I've <laughs> eaten here so many times over the 12 years that Fiola has uh, been open, almost 12 years. Um, and it's very special to be back here in the kitchen with you. Um, Fiola has gone through such an evolution in the 12 years that it's been open. I have to imagine that every day when you wake up, there's something new that's inspiring you. What's inspiring you today? Fiola has a very long story, so and I think I'm very as a small part of it. You know, most of it uh, is Chef Fabio that you know has built this uh, through his career. So I think that's the, the the strongest bond that we have here. It's this history of Fiola. Uh, what um, inspiring me? It's uh, um, it's my roots. I mean, it's it's impossible for a chef uh, cooking without um, what he has been and who he was and, and what his family and where he's from. Um, so that's what inspired me mostly yeah. on my cooking. And today, that's actually mixed into what Fiola is. You grew up in Calabria. Yeah. You have spent a lot of time in different cities here in the United States. Where did you learn to cook? Like, where did you learn it all? <laughs> I was lucky enough to grow up in a family that um, it is in this business. So my family runs a small hotel uh, in Calabria and a small restaurant uh, where I was lucky enough to grow up. Uh, and of course, then I moved my you know, food out of the kitchen. In, in all the kitchens, uh, in, uh, in Sicily, in Italy. Uh, and, uh, but I think the core was uh, my mom. Uh, her cooking, uh, you know, strived me when I was very little. Um, and uh, the lucky to be in a Mediterranean set, which is Calabria, is where we have such an in incredible, pristine ingredients where, you know, through the season, where the eggplants, tomato, uh, all the chakuti that we do, the, the, the nduya, the salami, and then the fish, and then, and, and you move inside, we have stock of fish. So, I mean, I was exposed so early to such a variety of cooking and ingredients that it was such a part of lifestyle that you can't, you know, turn it down. So when I ate here a few months ago, you made me a dish uh, <laughs> that I still haven't forgotten. Spaghetti alla mezzanotte. I almost fell off my chair when I ate it. Um, <laughs> and I remember saying, I said something like, I want to eat this every day. Like it was that good. <laughs> um, and I, I would love to be able to make it at home. I'm hoping that you can show me how it's done well, a little bit. Um, we will, we will. Okay. Yeah, spaghetti mezzanotte, which is a classic Southern Italian dish um, that is from, actually is from Naples. Uh, and the dish, it's, it was born uh, probably in uh, 1800. Uh, and it was uh, the, you know, the, the, the region of Campania has always been a, a very humble uh, on what concerns ingredients. So uh, they, they will make the best out of whatever they got. And pasta is a big, uh, cultural things in uh, Campania. It is culturally, it's a, a, a pasta that you do at midnight when you're starving and you open your refrigerator. There is nothing. You're always going to have pasta, yeah. olive oil, parsley, chili pepper, and garlic. Yeah. So we started with a, uh, this is a pest of garlic. Uh, and this is a chili, uh, Calabrian chili pepper uh, and uh, olive oil. We're going to, we're going to put this in a pan, I would try to melt it completely. Uh, then we add a stock. We, we do an, we're doing a stock of aglio e peperoncino. So basically, wherever we are doing it here right now, we had done it before. So oh, we wow. make it, we amplify the flavor twice. Oh. So okay. we're doing an aglio e peperoncino, like we do so now. So already, I cannot make this at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll never stop coming to Fiola. <laughs> So we, we're doing a high oil pepperoncino and then we cook the pasta on that, on that water okay. and we're going to strain it. Uh, so we, when, 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 so Alessandro will, uh, will put the water on the base of the sauce. Then we're going to have the pasta in here. We're going to cook the pasta in this pan for about seven, eight minutes uh, with that water. So what will happen, it will amplify the flavor yeah. and it will become very creamy because of yeah. of this of the yes. amid and the starch and, and that's pasta. something i really remember about it that it, yeah. was, it was so creamy, creamy and luscious right incredible smell and it 
it's a healthy dish, right? You? I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> it's just a little olive oil, it's pasta, it's very, um, very simple and, and clean cooking. So now you're adding. This is a, um, this is a garlic that we oh. are marinated with a, a little bit of lemon and olive oil. So it has a nice, a nice bite, but it's uh, very mild on, on the flavor of the, of the, this is a little bit of chili pepper. Creamy. You have the hint of spice. The lemon comes through. It's all like those different layers, but it's like, it's so satisfying. Simple. Yes. It's like, it's that pasta that you want at midnight. Midnight, yeah. after two it's bottles of wine. After two <laughs> bottles of wine. Um, that is, oh man. That That's is fantastic. so good. This is incredible. Thank you Thank so you. much for teaching me how. I'm still <laughs> gonna come here to have you make it for me, um, but, Outstanding. Thank you.